and today I want to share with you hair extensions. Yay! I purchased the Glam, um, the Glam Seamless Hair Extensions. It comes packaged like this, and you have a lot of color options to choose from, and when you purchase it, um, it comes with a little sample that you want to use first. Do not open the package until you've checked with the tester because once this seal is broken, it's non-returnable. And just so you guys know, this is not a sponsored video for me. I did pay full pop for these hair extensions. I paid $245. Um, and I'm trying to get the uh, sample out. So you just slide out this little sample here and it gives you this little hair. And these are the clip-ins, of course, the um, Glam Seamless Clip-On Hair Extensions. So they send you with this little sample and you're gonna stick it in your hair and you're gonna test and make sure it matches before you open the box. If it does not match, then you can return it for a refund or a different color, okay? So just as long as you understand that, make sure to match with your sample first. Now for me, I thought it was gonna match just fine. Unfortunately, it did not once I opened the box. So just be really careful, especially if you're blonde. Um, it's a lot harder to match our color because there's so many different levels of blonde. Um, so just really pay attention to that swatch when you get it. Now, once you have determined that yes, it, it, it does match, you're gonna open up the other end and it's gonna have your directions in there, your instructions of how to put them on. And then you're gonna have in this little net all your hair. So I'm gonna take all my hair out. Okay, and I've already had my out and I kinda tried to put in a few curls in my hair because I have curl in my extensions. So, um, but this is how, I'm gonna try to sit up a little bit here. This is all your hair. I mean, it comes with a lot of hair and it's so beautiful, you guys. So you get, what you get is you get four, two clips. So there's one. Let me find the other ones here. Two. three and four, okay? And then you get a, a three snap, one that's a three snap. And look, this is really thin, you guys. It's super, super thin. I don't know if you can tell how thin that is. Um, I have super baby fine hair, so this is a good video for you if you have super fine, super fine, super baby fine hair. Then you get one four clip hair, and then you get a five clip, okay? Now, as I was just saying, with the baby fine hair, it really was hard for me to figure out a pattern and a way that it would work to where it wasn't showing through my hair. Um, I also did buy, I also did buy their brush. It was $14.95 for, for the hair extension brush. This is just a brush that when you brush your hair once the extensions are in, it won't um, snag on the extensions and ruin your extensions or pull them out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do it, but it did take me a little while to figure out the technique. 
Um, now I have not done it yet with my hair parted down the middle like I have today. Um, my technique was with my hair parted on the side. Now when I part my hair on the side, on the sides, I only used one of the two clips on this side because this was my smaller part. My heavier part, I used two. Um, so this time I'm apparently gonna maybe just try one on each side and see. I don't know if it'll be enough hair. I may have to do two on each side and I don't know if my hair will show. So this is gonna be an experience for both of us. Now on the directions, it says here to do the three clip on the bottom, the four clip in the middle, and the five clip on top. I cannot do that because my head is small. I have a small head. So when I tried to do that style, it was sticking out everywhere. So I have, I did it a little different, I do it a little differently. So I have a duck duckbill clip um, and I am going to pull up my hair in the back. So I'm gonna take all my hair up and then I'm just gonna leave, and I also have this brush which is um, for teasing, so it's really good to for the part. So I leave, like I said, I have extremely baby fine hair. So I don't have a whole lot of it. So I leave just a very little bit at the very bottom the very bottom and then I'm going to clip the rest of my hair up and then I'm going to take my tease brush turn myself here a little bit and then I am going to tease the base of my hair right at the root and what that's going to do is it's going to help hold your extension in now with that I'm going to take my three clip once I can find it here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my three clip extension, I'm gonna open them up, and then I'm going to just take it, and I, I find the center clip, and I attach it at the center of my back, and then I clip it, and then I pull taut on each side, and then snap, because you wanna make sure you pull taut, otherwise you're gonna have a little it's gonna bow out okay so there I got that first one in right there okay and then what I'm gonna do is since I got such a small head I am NOT going to go very up very far up from this last one because I don't have enough head for all the extension without it poking out so I'm just very lightly gonna go right above the last one so literally like hardly pulling down any hair on top of that last one okay then what I'm going to do on this part instead of using the four clip like the directions say to use I'm going to use the five so then I'm going to open up all the snaps on the five Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it and I'm going to hold on to the center clip. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We first got to tease that. I forgot. So again, I'm going to take that hair that I just dropped. And I am going to put a little bit of a tease in there. And you know, if you don't have to tease, don't, but I feel the finer the hair, make sure you put a pretty good tease in there so it doesn't slide out. Okay, now I'm gonna take this five clip again and I am going to find the center clip and I'm gonna make sure to place that right in the center. And I'm going to pull taut on each side and snap them so that way you don't get the bow ok 
Okay, and then I got that in. Okay, this took me a few times to really figure this out, you guys. It was kind of frustrating at first, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna just repeat that same process. I'm not gonna go up very much higher because I don't have enough hair to cover the seam, the, the clips if I go up too high. So again, I'm just gonna go right, figure out where my clip is, it's right there. So I'm gonna go just barely, I'm gonna go right above it. And pray I just did not take too much hair. And I kind of did. So I need to go back. I took too much hair on that one. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull a little bit more of it back up. Okay, that's better. Okay. I'm going to just clip all this back up there again. And then I'm just going to go back and again. Kind of feel like I still took a little too much hair, but... Then I'm just going to tease that again. Okay, and when I'm doing it, I just like to make sure I have enough. I don't know if you can hear me with me turned around. When I do it, I like to make sure I have enough tees in there because my hair is so fine, they will slide out. So, and then I'm gonna take the four clip. I got the four clip right there. And then I'm gonna take that and just do the exact same thing. Make sure I'm pulling it taut. Oops, this one is, okay. There we go. This one's too loose on this side, so I gotta pull it a little tighter. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I got that done and then I'm gonna just drop that. So I got the back done. And I got the 20 inch. Um, just so you know that that's what my extensions are is the 20s, okay? So that's just the back. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the sides. And on the sides, Again, I try to start as far down as I can because I don't have a lot of hair. And like I said, this is the first time I'm doing it on the sides with my hair parted down the middle. So this will be something for both of us. And I do mine at an angle. I don't do them straight across. Okay. So then I'm going to take... So I'm going to take my two clip and I'm going to put it in. Oh, I didn't see. Forgot to do the most important part. Put your T's in there. And you can pick one of these up at Ulta or Sally's for like three bucks. They're heaven. If you like to tease your hair, these are heaven. Um... Okay, let's try that again. So then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put it in at an angle, just like that, okay? And the reason I do that, um, actually too much hair. I didn't mean to pull that much hair to the back either because I didn't want, I wanna keep my hairline out of the clip there just like that so my natural hair is in front of it okay then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in oh I don't know 
I don't know that I can do. Let's try it. You may have to change it up because I don't know that it's going to. I don't know that it's going to work, you guys. I don't think it's enough hair. I don't think I have enough hair. But we'll give it a shot. So this one you take back a little bit further than you had your first one. It's really hard for me to do this and kind of make sure. Okay, then I'm teasing this again. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my second tooth piece and I'm just going, I'm, I'm like, like brick layering it, how you over, over layer it just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know. It might work if I tease all this. Okay, so then there's that one. So we got this side all in. And I'm really disappointed. I'm gonna end up having to take mine and go have, see if my hairstylist can match, color match it to my hair. Um, I, I, the sandy blonde, dirty blonde one seemed too yellow for my hair. So I went with the champagne, what is this one? Um, champagne highlights instead of the dirty blonde highlights. The, the dirty blonde highlights looked too yellow. So we chose to go with this one and it's a little too ashy. I think if it had a little, little more, just a smidgen of gold in it would have been perfect. Uh, so I don't know exactly how we're gonna fix it. I have to take it to my hairstylist, uh, sending her pictures and, and stuff. So we're gonna see what we can do. And once I figure it out and if I get it, I'll definitely let you guys know just in case you all run into the same problem I had where you opened it and now it's non-returnable. Um, that stinks, I'm telling you. I mean, it's not like we have money to just lose, but, but they are beautiful extensions. Okay, so let me put this side up. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little more hair. Maybe that was the problem on the other side too. Maybe I should have taken a little more up and over. It's it's hard to figure out how to do it when you don't have that much hair. I wish I had thick hair, but I don't. So that's one of the reasons I like to have extensions. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that back down. I needed it. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my two and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'm gonna put it in on an angle. So I got that one in. So there's that. And then I got the one more left to put in there. This one really isn't curled, so it might look a little silly because I haven't used this one because I was only um, using the three because I had my hair parted on the side. And you can curl these. Um, and it's, it's personal preference whether or not you want to wait until they're in your hair to curl them or you can curl them um, before you put them in. I, I've had actually permanent extensions in 20 inches for a little over a year. So I'm used to doing it, but it is monotonous and it feels like it takes forever when you do it when they're in your hair. So sometimes some people may think it's easier to it curl them prior to putting them in. And you're gonna wanna wash them and condition them and treat them like your hair because they're real hair. Um, so you're gonna have to make sure you take care of them because they're not gonna have, get the norm natural oils like you have in your hair. Um, so you're gonna have to make sure you do that with your extensions. All right, so. Got a feeling this one isn't gonna be as brick layered as it should be, but. Okay, and then this is the last one going in and it's going to be in a little further back. You can tell it's not curled. 
So I'll just really quick curl this piece. Really quick here. You know, and just don't put your curling eye, oh, it's hard doing that when I'm looking in the camera. Don't put your ends in right away because um, you don't want to fry those ends. Just a couple more quick curls. And we'll put it down and I'll show you the finished. Love my curling iron too, you guys. Okay. Last curl here. You know, I, I watched a lot of videos on this Glam Seamless um, extensions, and you know, they're all sponsored. I think I only saw like maybe one other person who wasn't sponsored who actually spent her, her money to get her extensions, and she had really pretty red hair, and then hers matched her hair to the T. It was perfect. Um, okay. So after all said and done, so yeah, I can see my hair in there a little bit. So I'd really have to do some work with some teasing um, so it's not visible. And maybe once my stylist can work it all out, that'll help a little bit too. I don't know. But anyways, this is... The extensions, 20 inches. It's really, a, it matches pretty close, but I need, to, I need to figure something out. But then anyway, so let me show you the back. I can't see it, so hopefully it looks decent for you. Here is the back. If I had anything to say about it, bad to say about it that's the only thing is that it'd be really nice that if these were a little bigger so a person could really get a better determination whether or not the color matched because you know it's non-returnable once you um open that seal so just remember that other than that i love them and i know you would too if you purchased them if you have any questions in regards to the glam seamless clip-on hair extensions Please leave those in the comments below and I will give you an answer. And also, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below. And as always, I hope you have a very wonderful and very blessed day.